From RealC Console, we provide a powerful editor to enhance the 3D virtual tours and increase your brand presence. The editor provides a simple and intuitive interface that helps you to add information and marketing materials to the virtual tours with ease. Here are the steps to use the RealC editor to its full potential. Start by logging into the RealC editor using your registered email account. Choose your organization or remain as an individual user. Upon successful login, you'll find a list of all the 3D virtual tours that you have captured. Click on the Edit button. Adding information to the 3D tour. Enter the name of your project. Enter the location of your project and sync it with Google Maps for accurate representation on the map. In the Introduction section, you can provide a description of the space you are showing. In the Details section, you can provide more specific information about the space, such as the area, property type, developer, floor level, etc. Adding contact information to the 3D tour, you can enter the name of the person or brand presenting the 3D tour, add a brief introduction of the presenter, upload a portrait photo of the presenter or a brand logo to represent the presenter, and add a contact number. All of these info will provide viewers with a comprehensive understanding of the space and allow them to easily connect with the presenter. They can easily find these info while navigating the 3D tour. If you need to hide them, you can always choose our minimalist skin option. There are several settings tools available to change the visual appearance and enhance your branding in the 3D tour, including setting the initial viewing perspective, thumbnail, point style, image filter, and blurring certain areas. These tools allow us to customize the look and feel of the tour, create a memorable impression. Set the first image that viewers will see when entering the 3D tour from here. Select a 3D model or an interactive floor plan to remain at the upper right corner of the 3D tour, which will be displayed here. From point section, you can determine how the navigation points appear in the 3D tour. You can choose the shape color and size. Hiding unwanted navigation points can be helpful in situations where you have duplicated scans in your 3D tour. In the Adjust section, there are two options to apply either a warm or bright light filter to the whole tour, which can alter the overall tone and mood of the tour. With the Blur tool, you can cover an area that you don't want to show, such as sensitive personal items like family photos. Hold the shift key and click on the mouse to blur an area. Use the eraser tool in the same way to modify the size of blurs. RealC Editor provides multiple tools that can help you add marketing materials and enhance your branding in a 3D tour. One such tool is the ability to present your own logo when loading and navigating. Go to the settings section and find the brand and entrance. From there, you can upload your logo and add a brief introduction about your brand. If you want, you can also add a URL that will be associated with your logo. By doing this, the viewers of your 3D tour will experience your custom branding when they tap on the logo. The brand introduction will pop up, and they will have the option to learn more by clicking the anchor text. From the entrance option, you can select what should be displayed when loading. Another useful feature is the ability to place ads in the tour, such as pop-up ad or floating ad. This can provide a subtle and effective way to highlight a listing, a brand, or another landing page. Actually, you can be creative and tailor it to your needs. Here you can upload the ad picture you want to display, and modify the display timing of the ad. Choose whether to display only, or allow viewers to enter into another window or another link by clicking on the ad. After editing, the viewers will see the changes. That's the pop-up ad in the middle of the screen, and floating ad in the right corner. RealC Editor provides a variety of label tools that can be used to add information and annotations to the tour or products within the tour. The process of adding a label is simple and straightforward. You can choose from a range of hotspot types, such as text, graphic, video, audio, or hyperlink labels. After the click, your cursor will become a zoom tool to help you better locate the spot for placing the label. Graphic. Video, audio, and link types can be created in a similar way like the text label. With the Point Label tool, you can take the viewer to another destination scan point within the same tour. Select a spot to place the label. Give it a name.
and select the destination scan point by clicking the button on the right panel. With the Space Label tool, you can lead viewers to another virtual tour that is under your management. To do so, select a spot to place the label, give the label a description, then enter the project name from the Select a Project option, and you can even modify the initial view when entering the new tour. See how the point label and space label work after you finish editing. With the screen label added, Viewers will watch a video or slideshow of images at a designated scan point. When you select the screen label, your cursor will turn into a square. Place it on the surface where you want to display a video or image. Using the three color coordinate axis, you can adjust the position of the screen, and with the white squares, you can adjust the edges of the screen. Decide whether to keep the original aspect ratio of the material or not. The commodity label can be used to display information about a product, including its selling points, price, and purchase link. This label can be useful for promoting products in an e-commerce setting. To help viewers navigate quickly, you can add scan points as destinations, guiding users from room to room. Also, you can change the transition and panning speed. Another type of guide is the route function which is particularly useful when showcasing a large venue. This feature guides viewers on how to navigate to specific destinations. To create a new route, give it a title, such as find the swimming pool or route to the airport terminal. Then, add a series of scan points along the path by clicking add current point. Finally, save the settings. This is how the guides and routes will appear to a viewer. A design floorplan can provide a clear and accurate representation of the property's layout, making it easier for viewers to visualize the space. This is the main screen for the floorplan editor. This allows you to create a to-life floorplan. The first step is to draw a wall around the outside of the space. Then, using the same draw tool, draw in each individual room. Often, a house will include separate rooms which are not separated by a physical wall. In this case, use a virtual wall by drawing a regular wall in the desired location, and through the attribute drop-down on the right hand bar selecting virtual wall. This wall still exists, but is invisible on the floor plan. Using a similar process, walls can also be bent or curved. Once you draw a complete wall around a space or a room, the system will measure the room and name it. You can change room names, or if there are duplicate rooms like a bedroom at a number, each room must be named. Alias allows you to enter a custom name. You can also hide or alter the format or room names including hiding room dimensions by using FedEx display feature on the right hand bar. Select the doors to connect one room to another. Simply select and drop the icon to the correct location between two rooms. You can stretch or narrow the door as necessary using the bar on the right side. Set the main entrance of the house by using the attribute box on the right. For windows, the operation is similar to that of the doors. Adding furniture isn't always necessary, you can save the result from the JPG image, but it doesn't appear in tour. Should you wish to, simply select your chosen furniture item from the library on the left hand bar, drag and drop within the floor plan. The bar on the left of the screen allows you to squeeze, stretch, and rotate an item of furniture. You can add, remove select and press delete, or rotate and adjust once the furniture items are in place. Remember to save your edits during the process. Once you're done, hit apply. This is the full user guide.